Hello, this is Stacey Jensen from Color Veil. Today I'd like to show you an ACR tip working with raw files. So we have an image in raw that we would open and normally uh, just do a quick edit and drag into Photoshop to finish with our other adjustments. The quick changes that you need, contrast, clarity, sharpness, anything else. And say you're just going to quickly open it. If you quickly open it using the open image, it will pull it into Photoshop or into Elements and it will be a flat background. If you hold down your shift key, you will then open it as an object. So we're going to hold that down and click that. It's going to open it up and it makes it a smart object. One of the great things about this tip is that when it's a smart object and you've done everything that you want to the photo, so let's just put a couple layers over it so that you can see. Say you've done some edits to the image, you've warmed it up, and you forgot there's something that you want to adjust or you just simply do not like something. Because it is a smart object, you just come over to the layers thumbnail, double click on it, and it will open back up into ACR so that you can make more changes and then you make these slight adjustments. So we're gonna warm it a little bit, come in and click OK. Now we've made another adjustment to the layer, the smart object layer, the raw file. You possibly then don't even need the layers that you do or have already done. Maybe you turn them down a little bit, but this is a really great way. I will tell you though, however, you will get some errors running actions that pull upon the background layer. In actions, a lot of times the action is built pulling the background layer of the photo and making a duplicate copy such as sparkly eyes, smooth skin, anything else that your action developer will have done to it. So you will not be able to use this technique for all of those but I just wanted to show you a great way to still be able to control the ACR NEF file or RAW file for you Canon users being able to toggle back and forth between Photoshop and the original pull of the file, which was ACR. So I hope that this helped you. Please come join us at ColorBellActions.com for more tips.